tutor for today's lesson and thank you for clicking on this video here. We are going to learn about articles A and the. Okay, we're going to learn about these articles. Now these articles are a little difficult, a little confusing and have many rules. Uh, however, I'm going to help you with the basics so that you know how can you use these articles in your sentences. Okay, so we will look at the first article here that is A. Now, before I start with it, let me also tell you that articles are used for nouns, okay? Always remember this, that they are used for nouns, okay? So, let's look at a sentence here and then I'll explain you what exactly this article is. She wore a hat. Now, here, a is your article and hat is your noun. Okay, so she wore a hat. Now, if I come and tell you she wore a hat, you don't know what hat I'm talking about. Maybe it's a pink hat or maybe it's a round hat. So nothing in particular that I'm talking about. So it's just a general idea that she wore a hat. So nothing is definite. So basically, a uh, or a is your indefinite article. Okay, it is known. It is also known as your indefinite article. So that is when you are not talking about something specific, just in general. Okay, I'll just write it down for you. All right. Okay, so she wore a hat is again a hat, just in general. She wore a hat that I'm talking about. We also see another sentence here. I saw a star in the sky last night. Now here is your article and star is your noun. Okay, remember this, star is your noun. There are millions of stars in the sky, right? So here we are using, I saw a star, just nothing in particular, but I just spotted a star and that's why I'm telling it to you. So it is an indefinite article here, all right? Another thing that I would like to tell you about this article is that it is used for a singular noun, okay? I'll write it down. It is used for a singular noun. So you would not say she wore a hat, okay? That's incorrect, okay? So, or you would not say I saw a stars. Mm -mm, that doesn't sound right, isn't it? So it's always used for a singular noun. So I want a cookie, okay? I want a cookie, simple. Right? So it's not a specific cookie that you're looking at. You're not going to say, I want the third cookie out of this packet or the fourth cookie. It's just a cookie in general. Right? So we would also look at the, the article the here. Now, when do we use the article the? We will, uh, we, I have written down the same sentences here, okay, but with the. Okay? So here, she wore the hat. Now, the here is your article, the hat. And basically, which means you know what hat I'm talking about. Maybe, you know, it's a hat that we discussed uh, about it last week and then she finally bought it. So I am mentioning it to you that she wore the hat or maybe a hat that we were making fun of, okay? Or maybe the pink hat that she got it last week. So something like that. So you know specifically that you are talking about the hat, okay? Which hat, I'm sorry. So here, the would act as your definite article, okay? Something in particular, something specific. All right, so please remember this. I would also like to mention something in this sentence. I mean, uh, let me first go through this sentence. I saw the North Pole star in the sky last night. Now, here, the is your article, your definite article. And North Pole star, it's the specific star that you spotted. Again, here you know there are millions of stars and you just spotted some star, okay? You just spotted a star. So that's why you used a here. And here you know that you spotted the North Pole star and therefore you are using this article, the here. Now if you notice in both these sentences, we are using the here also right the now why 
I'll tell you. I saw a star in the sky last night. How many skies do we have? 10? 11? No, there's just one sky, right? Just one sky in this universe. So, sky here is acting as your noun. And the is the article because you know that you spotted the star, a star in the sky. Okay, so I hope you are clear with this. You know when to use a. A will be used when you do not have an idea about a thing. Okay, it's just in general that you're talking about. Whereas the, you would use it when you know what you're talking about. Particularly if you're talking about something, you know it and that's exactly when you use the article the. So now let's look at uh, the article N. All right, so now let's look at the article N. Just like the article a uh, and the article the, how they are used for nouns. Similarly, N is also used for nouns. Okay. And once again, just like a, uh, it is an indefinite article. Okay. So where we are talking about something, all right, we are talking about something, but nothing in particular, okay, just in general. So we will have a look at a sentence here. I bought an umbrella, okay, I bought an umbrella here and is your indefinite article, but why are we not saying I bought an umbrella? Does that sound correct to you? I bought an umbrella. No, that's, that's not correct. I'll tell you why, because umbrella is your noun, Okay, umbrella is your noun. However, it starts with the letter U and U is your vowels. So here, an is a very, it's a little simpler article. I, I really love this article because it's easy to use because I know that an comes before a vowel. Okay, so what are your vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Okay, just remember that. A, E, I, O, U. Okay, these are your wobbles. So it comes before a wobble. We will look at another sentence here. I will be back in an hour. Hour. Okay, and is again your article, indefinite article. Here, well, you would say that's not a wobble. However, it is pronounced as our, right? The H is silent here. So that becomes your vowel sound. So always remember that an would come before a vowel or a vowel sound. Okay, so here, another sentence if you want. Uh, I am a honest person? No, right? It would be I am I am an honest person. So again, here, H is silent. So honest. Now, honest is your vowel sound. And that's why you are using I am an honest person. Okay? So I hope you got a clear picture when we use a, when we use the, and when do we use an. Okay? And the simpler one used with vowels or before vowel sounds, okay, the words um, with vowel sounds, okay. So now there are, as I said before, that there are many, many, many rules when we use articles. So I am going to get into details in our next lessons, like I'm going to teach about um, more about the article, okay, and um, we will we will learn about the exceptions, about all the rules. So please do subscribe our channel, and of course, with this lesson, if you have any questions or queries, do write into us, and I will answer it all. Till then, you take care and have a great day.